Hi friends, today we are going to be using paper, some tape, and some markers to do some art. And then we'll get to turn our paper into something cool. Do you know what we're going to turn our paper into? We are going to fold our paper into an airplane. This airplane you can decorate with markers, crayons, paint, bingo dabbers, chalk, before you fold it. When you fold it, you are going to need help from mom and dad. You can fold yours on your own, that's up to you. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is we are going to decorate our paper. I'm gonna do yellow first. So I need something to decorate my paper with. So I'm gonna choose out some markers. I think I want blue, pink, hmm, green, I like green. And how about orange? Okay, so we get to decorate our paper. So I think I'm going to draw a green triangle. And then I can color it in. So there's my green triangle. What shape should I make now? I think I want to make an orange circle. There's my great orange circle. I know, we're going to add another color, red. We are going to make another shape. What shape do you think I'm going to make? <laughs> what do you think it is? We'll have to find out. What shape do you think I'm making? I'm using the red marker to color in my shape. What shape is that? We learned a lot about these shapes. This is an octagon. An octagon has eight sides. I should know that because octa means eight. <laughs> I am going to use, I think, blue next. I want to make a square. A square has four even sides. Even means they're the same. So each line has to be the same size for it to be a box or a square. If, side, if there were two sides longer than the other ones, then it would be a rectangle. I'll show you what a rectangle is next. So there's the square, blue square. See, each line is the same size to the best of my ability. And then we said, I said I was gonna draw a rectangle. See my rectangle has two short sides and two long sides. Hmm. So you know what else I can do? I think I'm going to do a couple more decorations on my paper and then we'll get to fold it. Okay? Okay. So I finished coloring on my pieces of paper. 
This is one of them. What shapes do you see? I see a green triangle, a red octagon, a blue square, an orange circle, and a pink um, rectangle. <laughs> and then I have some lines. I got a squiggly line. I got a sharp pointy line. And then I have a twirly line. Oh, and then we got a, a spinny circle. And then I also made this one. See, we've got a plane. We got little red triangles, little green squares, um, little blue circles. What else is on here? I got a little tree. So we're going to take these and we're going to fold them into planes. And I'm going to show you how. So, we'll do this one first. So we want, I believe, to fold this way. We'll find out. Trial and error. So you're going to fold the top like that into triangles. See how I did it? I have two triangles. One, two. So you're going to go fold in, fold in, so they're touching. Then... We're going to take it and we're going to fold it in half. And I think this is not how I want to do it, but that's okay because we'll do the other one differently. So we got that and now we have a half of our airplane. See, we fold that in half. Now we're going to take it and we're going to make our wing. We're going to take this piece and we're going to fold it down. We can do the same with the other side now. Ready? Make sure it's nice and lined up. And this would be a great time for parents to come and help their children fold their planes. Um, we, they can let their children fold their own, but then coming in and making one for them to use also is a very good idea because this can be extremely challenging for the toddlers to do on their own without any assistance. So now that we got our little rudders, which help keep the plane in the sky, we got our wings, we got the underside of the plane, so pretty. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some tape because you see how it sits open? We don't want it open. We're gonna tape it closed. So you can either put tape up here. I like to put tape on the nose. So I put it there, and then I'm gonna put some tape here on the back. That will keep the plane from falling apart, and the kids will be able to run around and use them throughout the day. See? There, I've got one airplane. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna fold the other one, and I'll be right back. So now that we have our three planes, I have three. You might not have three, but that's okay. We've got one that we decorated, two that we decorated, and then this is the one that I made to show you guys how we were going to make an airplane. Now we're going to get to go and explore with how they fly. So we're going to go and we get to throw them. Okay, so this is the longest part of my house. Um, this is my hallway from my kitchen to my living room. So we're going to throw the airplanes down the hallway and see if we can get them to land on that rug. I wonder which plane will land. Let's find out. First, we'll throw this one. The one that we did not collar on. Okay, ready? Oh, it crashed. It didn't go very far, did it? Okay, let's try the yellow one we drew together. Ready? Whoa! It didn't go very far either, but it did some flips. Ready? Let's try the last one and then we'll do it again. See if we can get one on that rug. <laughs> None of them flew down the hallway. We'll try one more time to see if we can get them on that rug. 
You ready? Oh. I almost hit my cat. That wasn't good. I should probably let him in the basement. Can we go downstairs? There you go. I won't hit you. Well, you've got to actually go if you're going to go. Are you going? No? Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Let's throw this one again. Whoa! It went up the stairs. Okay, last throw. Let's hope we can get it to that rug. Oh, so close. It went behind the chair in the living room. I wonder if you guys can get it anywhere. It's cool. Why don't you make some airplanes at home with your parents and then tell me how it went. So if you do this activity with your children, um, there's a lot of steps in it, which is very good for them. They get to use some tools, which is tape. Um, they get to use art markers. Um, and they're exploring with art because now they get to color on their paper and decorate it. Um, the biggest part of this is the cause and effect because the children are taking a piece of paper and they are turning it into something that flies or is able to fly. Um, you can take this activity and if you have a ceiling fan or just fans in general, I am going to encourage you to either tie the plane to the fan and turn it on so that it flies around or you can just encourage your children to try to throw the fan into the wind to see what will happen. Um, this will be a lot of science and get the children really thinking into what's happening. 